Uh, careless mistakes are the bane of every mathematics student. And I should point out mathematician as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a famous thing that you've got some complicated mathematical problem and you do all of the hard challenging things and fit it together in your brain. And then like you forget, you forget a minus sign somewhere and then everything explodes. And um, we, we, we have this experience uh, in exams all the time. So as a student, I can definitely relate to that. Um, what I would suggest is actually a bit of a renaming for us or a recategorization. Um, I don't call things careless mistakes anymore. Um, what I call them is uh, Womeos. You're like, what? Working memory overload. Do you get that? Womeo, working memory overload. Um, psychologists talk about our yeah. working memory. It's what, we, it's what we have in our brain that we can um, hold in memory at any given time. It's generally around five to seven objects. So, you know, if you meet... I go to a party and you meet a bunch of people around a table, right? If, you, if there were three to four people, um, you'd be okay to remember their names as they introduce themselves. Once you head up five, six, seven, you've already forgotten the first person's name by the time you got to the seventh, right? So that's your working memory. Being yeah, of course. Corroded, right? Now, this happens when we're doing maths because mathematics, you have to keep this formula and that shape and that diagram and all this language together in your brain simultaneously. Working memory overloads sort of happen naturally. And, you know, it's a careless mistake because you'll go back and you'll look at the exam and think, I knew how to do this question. What went wrong? So how do you overcome? Yeah. The short answer is um, something like, say, a, a formula uh, like uh, pi r squared. Pi r squared is one of my favorite formulas. It's the area of a circle. When you first learn that formula, it sounds like it's three things. Pi, which is a number r which is the radius and then squared you have to do something to the radius sounds like three things right so in your working yeah. memory for someone who learns it the first time it's three objects but as you use it more and more and more as you heard me just say it pi r squared is just one thing in my brain now it doesn't take up three spaces in my working memory it just takes up one so we don't increase I our say working but we can get better at using it uh, and that comes with practice so that's why we need to spend a lot of time developing our skills practically in mathematics